and now for something completely different. Um, so my second talk is about a research project we have at SM Systems. Um, the program repo project is aiming to dramatically improve build times for large C++ programs by avoiding repeated code gen work across compile units and by doing deduplication at compile time rather than link time. So in the illustration on, uh, on the right, uh, the first compile uh, produces foo1 and foo2, um, and sends those to the program repo. The second one realizes from the program repo that foo2 has already been compiled and only compiles foo3. And then the link stage gets foo1, 2, and 3 straight out of the repository. So in 2016, we presented a proof of concept of this using a toy programming language and YAML for object files. Since then, we've gone on to implement this for C and C++ on Linux on a fork of LLVM uh, on GitHub. And this is up to date with the 8.0 release branch point. So the LLVM implementation of program repo consists of two new optimization passes and a new object type. The first pass is at the start of the optimization pipeline. This calculates the digest of each function from the front end and the options it will be optimized with. This is recorded as metadata in the IR and the digest is used later as a key for the compiled object data in the program repo. Following that, we added a pruning pass. This checks if the compiled object is already in the program repo using the digest. If it's present, then it avoids running any optimization passes by setting the linkage type to available externally. Um, yeah. And marking it as pruned in the metadata. Finally, we added a new object writer similar to the ELF object writer. Uh, this writes compiled objects to the program repo along with a list of all objects in a module. Instead of an object file, it writes a small output file with a file signature and the index of the compilation record. There's got an example up here. A linker will then pick up a set of ticket files, retrieve all the required objects from the program repo, then proceed to link them without any duplicates. Because the program repo breaks the traditional object file format, it requires a different approach to linking. We have started work on a prototype linker to link programs directly from the program repo. Um, for now, for testing, we're using a tool called repo to obj. This recreates ELF files from the program repo so they can be used by a standard ELF linker. This is fairly inefficient as it creates all the duplicates we've gone to all the work to avoid, but it lets us test that the compiler and repo are working. So the status at the moment, we can uh, self-host LVM and Clang with the program repo. There are about 100 lit unit test failures that we're working on at the moment. Um, debug information is limited, it's just line tables at the moment, and we're still working on getting some performance results. So, in summary, we've implemented the program repo concept uh, for C and C++ with LLVM. This involved adding two new optimization passes and a new object type. Uh, we've got to a stage where we can self-host LLVM and Clang with it, and if you're interested, please try it out and let us know how you get on. Thank you. Thank you.